We recently published a retrospective multi-century study combining uh, data from centers in Brazil and Argentina of 185 uh, patients with localized anal cancer. And our, um, our objectives were to evaluate the outcomes among patients who have HIV infection. And what we found is that patients who are HIV positive, they took much longer time to achieve a complete response. So for example, for the median time to achieve a response was about four months, four to five months among patients who are HIV negative, but it was close to eight months for those patients who were, uh, had HIV infection. And this has a lot of clinical, important clinical implications because if we wait longer in these patients, assuming that they take longer to achieve complete response following chemo radiation, which is probably associated with an impaired uh, immune system, we may avoid the salvage surger surgery, which is uh, anorectal amputation and definitive colostomy. So the main uh, message from our study is that if you have a patient who, is, who have um, HIV infection and anal cancer, wait longer to decide if you're going to proceed with the salvage surgery or not. And we also evaluated if uh, the outcomes of patients who are HIV positive or negative were different among the two mainly used regimens now, which is uh, the chemo radiation with mitomycin following the NIGRO regimen, or the cisplatin-based uh, chemo radiation following the ACT2 clinical trial. Mitomycin is not available anymore in Brazil, so most of the time we use cisplatin-based regimens. And then we compare and study the outcomes um, between these two groups, and we didn't see much difference between the groups. So in overall, HIV-positive patients, they, they do much worse in, in terms of disease-free survival and local recurrence independently if they receive cisplatin or mitomycin regimen. For the HIV-negative group, the clinical, um, the chance of, of a patient being disease-free in three years is nearly 90% uh, in both groups, regardless of the chemotherapy backbone. So suggesting that cisplatin is uh, uh, as effective as the NIGRO regimen in settings where mitomycin is not available.